Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Dishonored. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect I want to congratulate you. I am Zexor. Thanks for watching. This is part 16 in the series now. Die oversee Martin Freed. He's alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Sweet. Okay. Um. Oops, forgot to start my timer. Hang on one second. In the last right part, back. we um, finally found the last... Well, we missed one overall. That's fine, whatever. But we finally found the last cup, the last rune or whatever, last couple of runes and the last couple of bone charms. Uh, so we finally finished off the High Overseer Campbell mission. Uh, if you'll remember, we uh, did not kill him. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an Empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And currently has a majority in part. Yes, I'm aware of it. My brothers control the voting block for my family. I'm very much aware. So some discussion about our mission and so on. Uh, anyway, there's Camille, Camille or Camilla, I think, Camilla. Anyway, we uh, saved her dad, uh, made sure he didn't get killed, and um, we branded High Overseer Campbell a traitor. That's all stuff we did previously. Anyway, so now we're back. Deals are made here. Sometimes under the influence of wine. And sometimes the influence is the point of a knife. Mm, interesting. Before the sun rises, they toss any casualties into the river. Men or a hound. They all go in. They top off the line with river water. But eventually someone swims. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Anyway, so we are back now here to hopefully uh, figure out what else to do to progress. Um, to the Callista. Admiral Callista. was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. Yeah, so I basically helped her uncle uh, so he didn't get killed. Um... So yeah, anyway, so we got most of the bone charm, or all the bone charms, and I think all but one of the runes, something like that, so, so that's good. So now, pretty sure we've already read this before. Alright, I don't worry about this. I'm pretty sure we've already covered everything that's in here. Um, so, let's see if there are any other runes or bone charms or anything to grab. Got one last time down below. Nothing, just go up to the loyalists there. Is that it? Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart. They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. Alright. Okay. Well, go, I guess. Corvo, you never cease to amaze. Okay. Here we go. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. 
I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's <laughs> journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Sure, we'll just, uh, well, not yet. Let me see if there's anything to buy here. I'm tired of my bedroom. Uh, just go faster. Master Corbo, what did I just see? Has my drink gone off? So I guess there is some stuff changed. My, there cool. is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. I don't remember the names of the former ones, but it seems like some of the stuff at least might be different, so. Failed experiments. <laughs> uh, whale vivisection. I think I've done this one. I'm pretty sure I've done this one. I just don't remember the other one. So. Whoops. And that away from that. Whale oil processing. I'm pretty sure I've done that one too, actually. So where'd he go? Did he go down? I'm gonna ask you for more stuff, dude. Alright, do this. Okay. Can I be of service to you? Mask Optics 2. Capacity one. Uh, I've got quite a bit. Let's do that. Yeah. Two additional. That costs four fifty. Yeah, I'll do that. Soon. And then math optics two. Let's see. Grenade capacity. Pistol spring razor. Sword crossing. Mm. Combat sleep dart. Evening combat. I like that. Right, I've been using that quite a bit actually. But he has a bone or a rune that I want also, right? So I have to grab that, I think. Three of ten. So let me buy that. Three of ten. Four. I will need another, or is it here? Another, like, 700, or 600, 600, 503 to get that. Okay, so let's, we're done for now. All right, bend time. I like bend time, I think. Strategic tips, stop for the duration of power, but your movement speed is faster relatively. 
Bend time is also useful for stopping projectiles midair, giving you a chance to move out of the way or even to collect them. Nice. I like bend time quite a bit. I don't this is this becomes deadly. I don't know that I want to use that. Wind blast. Or I could just get like more of this, right? That's a good one. I'm gonna bend time, I think. I like doing the powers, that's cool. Alright. Press right to slow the world around you for a limited time or until you hit that again to end the power. At level 2, time is completely stopped. Enemies and security systems are unaware of you for the duration. I like that. Alright. That'll obviously take some practice, I'm assuming. I don't know why. I was going to say, well, I don't know why Powers is doing that, but okay. Spirited one, more mana, or choking is faster. I like that. Doesn't take as long. That's good, okay. Uh, swing your sword slightly faster. Uh, yeah, whatever, I'll just keep, I guess, that. That'd be nice, that potion give you slightly more mana. Let me actually do this. And that. There we go. Oh, could I, I could do, I could do all of them, I forgot. <laughs> I added two more. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, okay, I don't want to spend very much time here, right? Oh, I'm going to go to sleep now. So. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces, too. Huh. That's a little unsettling. Welcome back, Master Corvo. I know your sort. Most of my men that had been in Coldbridge Prison. Well, they had a bit of a rough side to them. I've made my mistakes. I heard a stilt walker pass a few blocks away. They must suspect we're here. We're risking so much. I do hope it all ends well. I know you're from Circonus, south of us, but you've lived in the city for years now. Though mostly at the palace, so you probably haven't even seen some of the worst districts. Ah, right, whatever. Thanks, Do Lydia. You mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her. Attention, Dunwall citizens. If the city watch breaks in, I know what I'll do. I know how not to be noticed. And guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeited. Oh yeah. So my health's back up. My mana is almost full. I think I'm good. Alright, let's go ahead and go up. Stairs. Up and up and up and up to my room. Go to sleep, for to sleep. So I can continue. Alright, there. There we go. Sleep. Another dream with the, uh, the outsider, maybe? I'm thinking maybe. We'll see. Maybe not. I was 
is Admiral Havelock. Alright, so. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech and action. The state on Anything else in here before I go? Not looking like it. Seven meters, there's a room to go pick up. Uh, down more? Yeah, down more, I think. I know the golden cat, not as a patron. I designed some special. Not down even further? What the? So you can possess those fish, that's cool. Still didn't get me really what I wanted, which was some way to be... There was one 
one other area. I think I figured out where I need to go. I need to go down, like, the chain that's down at the bottom of the stairs there, I think, to go get those runes. Last thing I want to do, though, was, if I can... Over here, right, there's, and I guess I could just, looks like, uh, it looks like I could probably just go from upstairs somewhere, but that's fine. I'll, I'm going to do this anyway. Whoops. No, not close enough maybe to reach that spot. There we go. Enter this. I don't know where this is, but this somewhere. Close by. Alright, let's read these. Trials of Aptitude. Okay. Grab that. With some money. Fugue Feast. Spheres, volume one. Okay. I don't know if there's anything else here. What's oh? So okay. So this probably at one point this went to more of the building. It looks like, but the building like crumbled and fell away. I was like, why wow, that's random? Like, here, here, go outside. Oh, and don't fall off. <laughs> oh. All right, whatever. We should go through this. It's fine. I can always try again later, maybe. But okay, so <clears throat> go down the chain now. Is really what I want to do. I think. I'll quick save it. District sewer key. Oh, I need it to right. Okay. Okay, so I'll just go around. No point in wasting my. What is it? It's a Old Port District sewer key. And then I'm guessing that will take me to the direction where I need to go for the... Hmm. I wonder if I nab that off of somebody in the, in the pub. Do, do, 
stuff up I guess briefly hopefully briefly I don't want to take very long on this I really really don't I see all right. righty then I did all these last time I just don't know if they like anything like respawns or anything it doesn't look like it though I need to talk to the Admiral and he's outside. It'd be nice if I could nab some kind of sewer key from him. Somebody, get down there. Well, we'll see. Alright, anyway. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I send a servant down there, but they die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Okay. Ah, hello, Corvo. Huh. There are important things we must discuss. But at the moment, it seems we have an unwelcome visitor here at the Hound Pits. The Admiral would like your help in investigating it, prior to sharing what comes next. Right. Okay, so quick save. Save no problem with the flies in the area or anything. Uh, okay. some kind of enemy and I better not do that. <laughs> oh, it causes more problems than I already have, right? I'll leave that alone for now at least. What's that? What is that?
care. I do have to do it. of our labors here for you to keep it. I expect the rats will consume it before you return. Bye. I saw a copper wire outside. I need to go get that actually. Did I faint or something? Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Good day to you, Corvo. Oh, I don't think I've noticed that tattoo on your hand before. It's interesting. For the restless hand shall be raised against the common good. Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. She, she hides, hides her, her hands. They are raw and scarred scar from the washing. The, the common, common woman, she, she fears, fears the, the abbey, abbey and the plague. plague. She is a seamstress in a shop frequented by the wealthy. There is nothing in common about the work she does every day. All she wants is to lay herself down in the middle of Harlan Street and await death. But the fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She starves so that her children can have bread. The common folk, simple-minded, selfish, but they, they can, can be, be kind. kind. She, she has, has only one dress and wears it to tatters. But the common woman, she fears the abbey and the plague. If only she had a coin for every time she stubbed her toe. There is nothing in common about the work she does every day. Let's go. Now, now the, the little one is sick. The, the fabric of the city is made of stuff such as she. She can hold her drink as well as any man. <laughs> nice. The, the common, common folk, simple-minded, 
selfish, but they can be kind. But the common woman, she fears the Abbey. One more time, I think. There, there, go. there is nothing common yeah, okay. about the work she does every That's awesome. day. That's cool of you to learn more about her. So. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. All right. So let me one final uh final trip to you. Wait, wait, wait. don't go anywhere. Talk. Corvo, my Kira. friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? Uh, so I have 242, so not enough, but I'm gonna buy this. Nothing over here I can get, but um, sure I'll buy another. All right, that's good enough. Okay, let's go. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that... Not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Okay. To think, Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility, but once so steeped in courtly manners, his thoughts do linger long on revenge and murder. The, the conspirators have found a safe home here. They take great care that they are not far. The younger Pendleton, jealous little Trevor, always in the shadow. The ale here is sweet with honey to hide the taste of the river rye. <laughs> Whoops. He is prone to skin infections. His eyes are sensitive to the light. Does that mean he has the plague? The sober speaking whispers. The drunk bellow. Fortunes have been won here, and lives have been lost. Pendleton's ships come back from the Pandasian continent. 
crowded with war frightened captives. To think Lord Pendleton is the son of nobility, for one so steeped in courtly manners, this all stood mainly all on revenge and murder. There's your proof that he's tried. Yeah, I've already been through this. Okay, so unless there's something new in here. Could be, I guess. Yeah, no. Alright. Okay. I was getting more info on Pendleton. Okay. Let's go. Oops, no. Wrong way. <laughs> Go actually outside first now. Go downstairs. Okay. Okay, everybody. We'll go ahead and end this part here. This has been Let's Play Dishonored. Part uh, 16, well, I am Zexor. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next part where we will go on our mission to execute the Pendleton Better Twins. Till then, peace.